Okay everyone, assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing great. So in today's lesson, I would be explaining one 12 mark question that was given in specimen paper for June 2023 20, attempt. So you can see the statement of the question on your screen right now and the statement of question is assess whether the free market should be used to provide all types of goods in an economy. So this is a 12 marks question. Again for 12 mark, mark question you have to satisfy all three objectives, assessment objective 1, 2 and 3. So what are those assessment objectives? Assessment objective 1 is you have to give knowledge and understanding. So first of all you will have to identify the key terms that are used in this statement of question and then you can start by defining them giving examples for them that will be considered as assessment objective one uh, keep in mind in 12 mark question examiner collectively gives you the marks eight marks for assessment objective one plus assessment objective two assessment objective one is knowledge and understanding assessment objective two is analysis so if you give good analysis as well as good understanding and, and knowledge of the question statements of uh, uh, terms given in the statement of the question then you can grab eight marks in this like part question eight uh, 12 mark question for assessment objective one and two since you get collectively eight marks so Sometimes students give more knowledge and less analysis and sometimes they give more analysis and give less knowledge. So they can basically compensate each other. So this is not a kind of worry if you are giving more knowledge, less analysis, more analysis, less knowledge. So it depends upon the statement of question. So collectively you get eight marks and the last four marks are for evaluation that must be ended with a final conclusion that is the final judgment okay so coming back to this statement of question question uh, if you find out the key terms in this statement of question then you will find uh, the basic terms including free market economy what free market is you will have to define it you will have to give examples for that and you can give some features of free market economy as well and the other thing is types of goods like we know there are mainly four types of goods including private goods public goods married goods and demerit goods there are other uh, definitely types of goods as well but you need not to explain all of them for this question uh, if you look into these four types of goods public private merit and demerit then you can easily justify your answer so you can start by defining free market then you can give a few features of the free market economy then you can move to the other part of the knowledge that is uh, you have to explain what private goods are what public goods are what married goods are what demerit goods are and you have to explain them with their common features so the common features of private goods are they are excludable and rival and the common features of public goods are they are non-excludable and non-rival on the other hand in case of married goods you will have to say that these goods are uh, beneficial not only to the consumers but al also to the overall society and the third party as well and you can give examples as well demerit goods are harmful to the consumers as well as society and overall uh, to the to the third party as well and you can also give examples of those as well so you must know what are uh, what are, what is the meaning of excludability rivalry uh, non excludability non rivalry what are positive externalities negative externalities and what are the benefits to the third party what are harmfulness to the third party you must know these terms as well you will have to incorporate these terms into your answer for example in case of private goods you will say that these goods are excludable and rival excludable means when everyone is not allowed to use the product for example your personal car your laptop your mobile phone these are private goods like um, you won't allow anyone to use your mobile phone right that is private goods so this is uh, the feature of excludability when you are not allowing everyone to use your product 
and rivalry is if you allow someone then its availability for you will read will decrease for the timing when that product product is in the possession of someone else uh, for example if you uh, give your mobile phone to your friend for two days then definitely it is not available to you uh, for getting benefit out of it so this is called rivalry when rivalry is when you uh, give your product to someone else then the benefits you were already getting from that product will decrease or diminish uh, similarly you will have to define what public goods are and what are the features of public goods and then you will have to relate it to the free market economy free market economy since uh, ba is based on the idea of profit motive and self-interest so uh, they uh, they they are more uh, inclined towards production of private goods so so that they can earn high profits and they can expand their business and they can satisfy the basic incentive of profit maximization uh, since goods are excludable so those who will be paying for those goods can benefit from them then you will have to explain what public goods are they are non-excludable non-rival non-excludable mean you cannot exclude anyone from using the product everyone is allowed to use it uh, like defense uh, service police service uh, similarly uh, like national highways these are the examples of public goods and public parks are also the example of public goods so public goods are non-excludable and non-rival non-excludable mean everyone is allowed to use the product even free riders can use them and non-excludable uh, non-rivalry means if it is used by one person then its benefits for others will not decrease or diminish many others can also benefit from it since these goods are non-excludable and free riders are allowed to use the products so private sector or free market economy will be reluctant to produce these goods in sufficient quantity so uh, for sure if these are left to the private sector or free market economy they will be underproduced so you will have to say that free market economy uh, is reluctant to produce these goods in sufficient quantities moving to the merit goods you will say that what merit goods are what are the examples merit goods are beneficial to the consumers as well as the third party and you can add examples of merit goods like vaccination plantation and education these are the examples of uh, merit goods right and uh, for example uh, if we talk about uh, vaccination if someone gets vaccinated uh, it means he is not trying to avoid uh, suffering from any kind of disease relevant disease himself but he is stopping the further spread of the disease as well so it means uh, this is kind of merit good because by using it he is benefiting the third party third party is a person who is neither producer nor consumer similarly plantation is an example of merit goods if you plant a tree you cannot stop its oxygen to uh, spread in the environment right it will be available to everyone in the society uh, education again education gives benefit to the consumer uh, or the person himself who gets it and he also benefits a lot of other people intentionally or intentionally the overall economy and many people living around him and in, in many ways so education is again um, again an example of merit goods and uh, the benefits of merit goods cannot be stopped spreading to the other people so again uh, if it is left to the private sector completely then private sector will be more inclined towards underproduction right and demerit goods are the goods that are basically harmful to the consumer as well as the third party or overall society like cigarettes alcohol any kind of co2 emission in the environment these are basically demerit goods demerit goods are generally profitable they have inelastic demand and because of information failure many people keep consuming them over consuming them so private sector in this case uh, or free market economy gets an opportunity to earn highest possible profit so again such goods are produced by the private sector 
so uh, you have analyzed it well right so what should be produced and what should not be produced and then you will have to give overall evaluation or um, uh, at the end right uh, so in your evaluation part uh, or conclusion part evaluate you have evaluated what should be produced produced that is analysis why it should not be produced that will be the evaluation when you talk against something that is or explaining limitation that is called evaluation so you for evaluation you have the option to uh, give evaluation hand in hand after giving analysis of each point or you can give analysis first and then move to the evaluation that's up to you and at the end you will have to give final judgment or final conclusion whether all types of goods should be produced so our discussion clearly shows uh, uh, that uh, you can say for conclusion I can just write the statement of conclusion here for you as well you can say that in conclusion private sector or free market economy should not be used to provide or produce all types of goods uh, because uh, some goods uh, are, will be underproduced if they are produced by the private sector and some goods will be overproduced if uh, provided by the private sector so all types of goods should not be pro produced by the private sector private sector may focus on the production of luxury products private goods that can earn high profit and government should uh, focus on the production of public and married goods so that sufficient quantity of public and married goods is produced in the society uh, so this is it in the next video uh, I'll be explaining the functions of price in price mechanism right this was a question that was found challenging by uh, by by the student somehow it was asked in uh, March 2023 attempt that was an Indian version and this question was uh, thought to be a bit challenging for the consumers I don't know why but although this is a really simple question but many students struggle struggle in this question so I'm, I'm going to explain this in the next video so click on the next video if you are interested to watch that thank you so much Allah